So, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Alexi, and I will tell you a little bit about the ASP Core Web API on the serverless architecture. So, first of all, what is the serverless architecture? Um, based on the Martin Fowler's blog, we can say that uh, serverless architecture refers to application that tightly coupled with the third party uh, service uh, known as the backend as the service or with the some container what we can tell uh, name as the function as the service and one of the mm, best known vendors is the AWS Amazon Web Service Lambda and not long time ago about maybe three months no maybe two months is um, AWS team presented the uh, support of the Lambda for Web API uh, based on ASP Core. But uh, first of all, why you would like to, maybe you would like to use the um, serverless architecture. First reason is reducing of operation costs for uh, managers. It means that uh, most probably you wouldn't need to have the separate uh, member that will uh, serve your infrastructures, doing the setup and all of this stuff. Uh, most of um, configuration done in one file and could be done by one developer during the, the uh, publishing to the service with the nice tool provided by Amazon. Um, second thing is reducing development cost. It means that uh, also, you don't have to worry about the communication between your uh, parts of the applications, if it is like microservices or so on. Uh, you just call provided uh, URL and the service is just working. And the, one of the best features is uh, reducing scaling cost. So from that moment, uh, if we will compare it to some cloud um, um, cloud uh, stuff like uh, AC2 instances or, um, uh, or Amazon, uh, Azure, some um, web machines, or when you have some peaks of the request to your site and the usage of the uh, website, you have to spend some time for establishing a new instance of uh, your service and it will take like during this uh, setting up the instance even if it is taken one minute or like five minutes uh, the amount of the request could decrease in five minutes and after that you need to kill the instance to um, to reduce the cost of the of the um, using the application but when you use the serverless architecture uh, it just um, you just serve the request so it is always um, supports the uh, immediately uh, scaling uh, due to the amount of the request um, and uh, what's the EW, AWS Lambda provides uh, for us so um, <coughs> you just write your code as the developer, just push the button and uh, <coughs> like you need to spend once 15 minutes to set up it or even less and then you just publish it to uh, your Lambda function and it, it is working. Uh, the second one, uh, as I said, it is scaling automatically and you don't need to worry about it at all. And one of the best features uh, is if you write the good code, you pay less. So, for example, uh, uh, like you pay only when your um, code is really working. So, uh, until nobody is asking your service, you just don't pay for uh, hosting your application. And I don't exactly remember uh, the pricing, but about like 10 million request is less than one dollar for the. Uh, running your application and then you pay for each uh, 100 milliseconds of code is running so the better your solution is work working less money you pay um, how it is working with connected with uh, 
ASP Core uh, Web API. So in, in the usual case, when you publish your uh, Web API service to uh, some server like IS or Nginx, uh, it is uh, routing your request to Kessler uh, server uh, and Kessler um, uh, put it uh, like serve the request to SPNet Core hosting that will route your request to your controllers. Uh, with the AWS Lambda, uh, like it's not just Lambda, but uh, when you publish it to the AWS, uh, you use two uh, main services by, uh, by Amazon. It's API Gateway and Lambda that um, replace the, uh, your IS or Nginx and Lambda replace the Kessler. So uh, then I will show you how it is defining on the, um, with the code. So I prepared really, really um, small example, this one. So uh, first of all, you need to install the AWS tools and then you got uh, the possibility to add the um, AWS blueprint or the template solution with serviceless uh, application. So we call it, then you can use the or empty serverless or, uh, application or web core API or blog API that <coughs> um, use the different structure, but it's not the topic of our case right now. So uh, if you, uh, already worked with uh, Web API uh, on SP Core, you would mention that it is almost uh, same as uh, the plain or standard uh, Web API application. The only difference what we can see is that the um, local, uh, previous one, the file was named the program CS, now it's local entry point and it is used when you uh, run your application from the um, uh, on your local environment. It is starting as the console application, and you you got all the logs and so on um, on from your local machine. So it, currently, this is the Kessler running. And if you would like to publish it to the uh, Lambda uh, to a Amazon Lambda. Um, there is the new class presented, is Lambda entry point, it is inherited from Lambda <laughs> SP Core Service API Gateway, and it, you just define that you use API Gateway and the startup uh, for the, uh, how do you start up this uh, solution. Also one additional file is serverless template that defined how the API, uh, who, he needs to call uh, to serve <coughs> your requests. And here we can see that the handler, the main handler is our Lambda entry point that I was talked before. Uh, basically, this is the all difference between the plain ASP core um, application and the application that will work on Lambda. And in the settings, you just need to define the you just need to define the your profile name in the Amazon and your region. Uh, so, when we uh, when we will publish it to Lambda, it will show us the this nice uh, like tool um, how how it is working for publishing. So you have the S three bucket. Uh, it is just a blob storage. When you click the publish, uh, Visual Studio will uh, create the zip file from your, uh, like he will compile all of your code, create the zip file and push it to S3 bucket. And then uh, the Amazon internal staff will unzip it, put it on his own container and run it. So then we, need to specify the, do we need to create, uh, I'm using right now the S3 bucket for saving the files or running the, f or reading the files. I publish it, it is just doing the publishing. As you can see it is zipping, 
upload into S3 bucket and yeah, it's starting to upgrade in our application. But like we can check all the logs that uh, going on on the uh, Amazon Cloud Formation <coughs> is additional service for publishing. So it is updating our application and uh, if we will do it in first time, he will generate us this kind of the link. You can specify it more uh, like more uh, fr user friendly. And then we just need to use our any kind of the tool or uh, any application to call our service. So right now we will uh, first start as usual. It is pretty long, could take about 10 seconds, but then we will see how uh, fast it is loading the files and working with it. So first load is, uh, load is 15 milliseconds and other request is uh, 700 milliseconds for loading to <coughs> three files from the bucket. So basically it you can use simple REST API for working as usual with the uh, web API but everything will work on the Lambda and you don't need to worry about the scaling, about the uh, communication between the services, the availability, everything is done by uh, AWS. Basically that's all. Any questions? Yes? Uh, and, uh, were you using uh, Azure for that? Or you were waiting for Amazon Lambda? Uh, no, um, this presentation was uh, established because our new client, Sunweo, wants to use the uh, Amazon. They are already use it, it for some projects, and so we started to use it for, uh, for them. So basically it's like this. But you can get the same, pretty much the same functionality with Azure as well. Uh, it's called Azure Functions, your serverless offering. Yeah, I was wondering if you were working with it, then are there any... No, no, it was just an example of one of the serverless architecture provided of the... one of the providers. So, thank you.